Lesson Eight, Part One. Bleak. The weather in early December was bleak and unpleasant. Castigate. The electric inspector was castigated for having failed to check the wire as he was supposed to. Enmity. We should overcome the worst that the tyrant's enmity can do. Impartial. In any case, parents should be impartial to their every child. Lucid. The teacher asked me to give a lucid explanation of my being late for class. The old man is confused most of the time, but he does have lucid moments. Perpendicular, a square has four ninety-degree angles made by its four perpendicular sides. Retrospect, in retrospect, many good opportunities were neglected in my life. Sagacity, the politician showed a good sagacity in avoiding the mistakes he'd made in the previous campaign. Urbane. Urbane speech is educated speech, as distinguished from the speech of the ignorant. Part two. Ardent. After reading about the lives of several great Americans, John became an ardent student of American history. Derogatory. I can't bear his derogatory remarks about my brother's character. Discretion. I won't tell you what time to leave. You're old enough to use your own discretion. The house of the meetings will be fixed at the chairman's discretion. Hilarious. The party got quite hilarious after they brought more wine. Paramount. It is a paramount responsibility of every officer to take care of his men. Before caring for himself, recede. Houses and trees seem to recede as we ride past in a train. Rife. The whole city was rife with rumors of political corruption and bribery. Spontaneous. Both sides burst into spontaneous cheers at the magician's skillful tricks. Tenuous. The air ten miles above the earth is very tenuous. Part three. Acme. A baseball player usually reaches the acme of his skill before he is thirty. Candor. He spared no one's feelings and expressed his views with great candor. Dissuade. The father finally dissuaded his son from leaving school. Gratuitous. Her advice was quite gratuitous. I can think for myself. Impeach. The House of Representatives has the sole power to impeach an officer of the United States government. Ostensible. Her ostensible purpose was to borrow some sugar. But she really wanted to see her neighbor's new furniture. Paltry. The poor painter sold his paintings for a paltry sum of money. Sordid. The poor family lived in a sordid log cabin in the valley. Tidy. She makes it a rule to keep her room neat and tidy after coming back from school. Part four. Aloof. One tall boy stood aloof from all the small children. Cardinal. Regular meals and exercise are of cardinal importance to our health. Drab. There are many drab houses in the smoky mining town. The life of a person who never does anything is dull and drab. Feud. The two families had been at feud with each other for three generations. 
insolent. His insolent speech and behavior upset everyone in the room. Mitigate. The judge said that nothing could mitigate the cruelty with which the man had treated the child. Pertinent. A summary of the events leading up to this situation would be pertinent information. Predecessor. His predecessor quit because he was not in the least interested in this kind of job. Tardy. Let me apologize for my being tardy in answering your letter. Wet. You'd think she would never climb again after falling down the mountain, but it just whetted her appetite. Part 5 Acquit. The man accused of stealing the money was acquitted for lack of witnesses. Brittle. Be careful not to break the box of glass. That thin glass is hard but brittle. Detract. The ugly frame detracts from the beauty of the famous picture. Extirpate. To extirpate weeds is not only to destroy their visible parts, but to pull them out by the roots. Indulgent. The indulgent mother. Bought her children everything they wanted. The indulgent teacher praised every poem we wrote. Mendacious. The mendacious beggar told a different tale of woe at every house. Plausible. For my own sake, I've told a plausible lie at the club meeting, but the members did not believe me at all. Sanction. We have the sanction of the recreation department to play ball in this park. Shallow. Youngsters usually rush into marriage with only the shallow notions of what love and responsibility mean. Verge. We parked the car on the grass verge at the side of the highway.